my goodness. The smiles on both sides are contagious. Hey, welcome to the show, everybody. Today, it's the students to my right and teachers on the left from Dennis Township Middle School in Dennisville, New Jersey. They made their way here into the classroom for a head-to-head -head contest like you've never seen before. Students are on their way to tell the world, I am smarter than my teacher. The bragging rights, the money's on the line, but the teachers are here to say, not today, kids. Who wins this thing? We find out. Welcome to the show, everyone. It's pop quiz time. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All righty, all righty. You guys buckle up, you ready to do this? Yeah. Leah, you've been waiting for this moment your whole life. <laughs> now is the moment to press that button. Here we go, guys. Game starts right now. Which of the eight planets in our solar system is the only one known to have stable bodies of liquid water on its surface? <laughs> Mrs. Szymanski. Venus. Incorrect. <laughs> free steal, free guess if you want it. Buzz in if you know. RJ. Mars? Guys, we're looking for Earth there. All right, <laughs> off to a good start. Hey, you know what? Double the points. This one's extra credit right here. Here we go. 12-year-old Miguel teams up with a friendly skeleton named Hector in the Land of the Dead in what 2017 movie? Leah. Coco. Coco is right going to get you up to 20 points. What two letters are used in the abbreviation for the state of Indiana? Here we go, principal. I-N. I-N is right. What is the name of the patron saint, excuse me, what is the name of the patron saint of Ireland whose feast day is celebrated in March? Principal Van. St. Patrick. On a run, here we go. In math, what does the O stand for in the FOIL method that is used to multiply two binomials? Mrs. Szymanski. Outer. Good. Yeah. What singer-songwriter's 2022 hit Glimpse of Us peaked at number eight on the Billboard Hot 100 due in part to its popularity on TikTok? Leah. Jojo. Jojo. Say it again. Jojo. Incorrect for the oh. steal. Oh, I have no idea. Not going to get there. Uh -huh. Joji is what we we're looking for, and that's going to take us to the end of pop quiz. The I to the O to the O to the I. That's all it took to not grab those points. But teachers coming out with 30 points after pop quiz. Good for you guys. And students, you grab the extra credit question, which put 20 points on the board for you. That's exactly where you want to be. Oh my gosh, you guys, wait till you meet the students and teachers from Dennis Township Middle School. They're from Dennisville, New Jersey, but they're here today, the home of the DT Hawks. So let's meet them. Hi, I'm Leah. I'm in eighth grade, and math is my seventh favorite class of the day. Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm in eighth grade, and I do sports. Hi, I'm RJ, and I'm a hockey goalie, and the principal's going to detention. Hi, I'm Mrs. Samanti. I teach eighth grade math, and I'm normally the detention monitor at school, and this is the only time I want to send you guys to detention. Hi, I'm Marnie McCann, and at school, I'm known as the queen of the microphone, but today, I'm going to let Rich take control. Hi, I'm Mrs. Van Artsdalen. I usually put the pal in principal, but today I'm showing no mercy. Man, at the risk of oversharing, Melissa, you do sports. Yeah. And that's about it, huh? <laughs> you best sports player of all time? No. What do you what do you play though? You gotta tell us at least. Uh, uh, soccer, volleyball, and softball. Wow, you actually do do sports. That's a lot of them. <laughs> all right, listen, hey, detention is next. Who wins this thing? We find out. Let's go. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All right, that's how you play. As simple as that. You get it right, you send them to detention, but can you actually do it? Now is the moment we find out. Good luck today to both teams and students. We start with you guys for the category, and here it is, math. Come together and talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Gonna play. you're going to play. Love the confidence there. Here is your question. What is the median of the numbers? Eight, three, and ten. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? 
this Looking more class. Looking for the knee. Class. Need an answer? Okay, we were looking for eight right there with the median. The, yes, very little number there. Median, all right, yep, and the teachers are going, okay, we're gonna cover that Monday, guys. <laughs> but the good news is, is right now, you guys get to send them to the detention. Who's it gonna be? Ooh. We're gonna send Leah. Leah, team captain. <laughs> Why is it Melissa are here like, no! <laughs> send me instead! Save yourself, Leah. Okay, teachers, back to you on the category. Here it is. Good luck with science. Oh, help us. <laughs> you can you can pass it if you don't no, love it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah. You're gonna do it. Yeah. Here you go. What organelles are known as the protein factory of the cell oh and are God. mainly found in the cytoplasm or on the surface <laughs> of the rough endoplasmic reticulum? Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what that question is there. I don't even know if that's a word. I don't even know if that's a word. Cytoplasm? Answer? Go with that. Cytoplasm? Sounds like the Ghostbusters, but no. The answer was ribosomes. Ribosomes. Hey, how about it? Who would have guessed? A science teacher, that's who. Hey, Melissa, RJ, how about this? Do a little shoulder shuffle because you can literally send your principal to detention right now or our math or English teacher. Who's it going to be? Samansky. Samansky. Mrs. Samansky, how about it? Out of there. Our team captain for the teachers no longer makes the walk. She is wearing a fresh, a fresh pair of Vans today. Nice choice out of you. Okay, we move back to the students. Here we go, you guys ready? You gotta answer this one right now. Or pass if you don't know, category is comic books. Play or pass, know it, or do you think the teachers don't know it? Put it on there. Play it. You're gonna play it, here you go. Reed Richards. Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm are the original members of what group of Marvel superheroes? Jesus, no, that's not <laughs> You should have played this. <laughs> you should have played this. Need an answer. Uh. <laughs> the uhs are incorrect. The answer we're looking for was the Fantastic Four. I like that RJ whispered in her ear in the middle of that. You shouldn't have took this one. <laughs> no kidding, RJ. Yeah, okay. Well, hey, teachers, now you get to send one of them to detention. RJ or Melissa, who is it? RJ. RJ, they wanted to do that one. There you go. You're headed over there. Grab a seat. Enjoy yourself. Who gets category now? The answer, teachers. Here we go. Back to you guys. And this is your category. Food and drinks. Oh, we'll go with it. We'll go All right, with here it. you go. No. What fast food restaurant named hip hop artist Saweetie's favorite meal after her in a 2021 collaboration? Wendy's. Answer? Wendy's. I love Wendy's. Unfortunately, the answer is McDonald's, so that's not going to get you there. They did a whole bunch of collaborations, so that's not going to get you. So you go to detention, but who is it, Melissa? Uh, Miss McCann. Miss McCann. Wow, this might be the nicest principal in the world if they're not sending them to detention. All right, here we go. Back to you, Melissa. Category goes to you. Good luck. It's sports. I'm going to play it. You're going to play it. You do, you do do sports. Here we go. Ready? Russell Wilson is a quarterback on what NFL team? I don't know football. That's, we need to know which one. Uh, Two seconds. Uh, oh, man, the Denver Broncos. I wanted you that so bad. Unfortunately, you go to detention. Teachers, get over here because Principal Van is the last one standing and grabs the round. Don't go anywhere when we come back. This game continues. Wow. Who would have known? Who would have known? Would you have had that one?
right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the classroom. Hey, we got a great one today. It's the students and teachers from Dennis Township Middle School in Cape May County. And I hope they brought their easels because art class is next. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. All right, here we go, RJ. I guess I should ask you right now, are you good at this? Probably not. <laughs> Either are they, which is why you're here. Okay, good, RJ. It's blue or blue. red now, which one are you taking? Blue. Take the blue, open it up back here behind this. Take a look at your word. You're gonna have five seconds to draw that, okay? Here's the best <laughs> thing, you, I mean, look, you, you, why are you laughing? You're gonna be fine, you're gonna be fine at this. Here we go, I believe in you, five seconds, okay? So draw quickly, time starts now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, stop. You can't laugh in the middle of five seconds. It's not long enough, RJ. You guys, talk this through. You got this. He's still just chuckling to himself. What is it? It could be a pencil. Is that your guess? No. Okay. The answer? Pencil. Incorrect. You got five more seconds, okay? Try to draw for the entire five this time. Here you go, time starts now. Okay. Okay. All right, stop right there. Talk about it, you guys. What are we looking at? Mm. Need an answer? Um, a paint bucket. Okay, incorrect. <laughs> You're gonna have 10 seconds to finish this up. RJ, good luck, time starts now. All right, he jumps in. Now you can add on. Now, ladies, remember the first two drawings. What has he drawn so far? Try to put that together to what this could be for our third endeavor here. Okay. All right, stop right there. You guys ready? <laughs> I'm not sure this is gonna help. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is it, you guys? Uh, everyone at home is starting to put it together. A drum. No. <laughs> I love the way you said that so confidently. That's a drum. That is a? Straw. It's a straw. Do you know what would have helped here, RJ, is a little bend in this thing, I think, would have helped as well. Nicely done there by you. We're going to switch you out. No points awarded. Let's bring out Mrs. McCann here to finish this one up. Come on in, Mrs. McCann. Oh! Oh, no! Good thing that wasn't live. RJ just hit it with the old one, too. Here we go. You look at that one. Oh. All right, that's your new word, okay? There's nothing worse than the high five and pull away. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, we got it. Eighth graders are good at that. All right, we ready? Yep. Five seconds starts now. Here we go. All right, good luck. Okay, that took her one second. Let's just flip this in. Good luck. What is it? Ghost? Ghost is right. There you go. RJ, I think that's how it's done right there. You got to get a teacher to get it done. Hey, let's throw some extra credit on the board. All right, I'm gonna ask one extra credit question. Teams, you guys are gonna have the commercial break to write down your answer. If you're at home, play along, and here is your question. In what division do the Philadelphia Flyers play? All right, there it is. Do you know the answer? Of course you do. Let's play a little puck when we get back. Let's go, the answer right after the break. <laughs> Mrs. McCann, listen, that's how you draw a gun. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for being here. The classroom continues with the students and teachers from Dennis Township Middle School in Cape May County going head to head. Listen, the DT Hawks is the mascot. RJ, hit him with the DT Hawk sound, just so people at home know. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly what I thought it was going to be. But the only person to do it better is Mrs. Samansky. Show them what it sounds like. 
Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> That's a weird sound a hawk makes. OK. Oh. Extra credit question was this, you guys. In what division do the Philadelphia Flyers play? Let's see who wrote down the correct answer. Leah, what'd you say? Division one. Division one. <laughs> Incorrect. Teachers, what did you say? Uh, NHL Eastern. Which is their conference, not division. We're looking oh. for the Metropolitan. Oh. Very good one. All right, Leah, you win this thing. Where's that money going? Um, we're going to donate it to our academic team. All right, nice. Hopefully you guys grab that. Teachers. Uh, we are going to use the funds to spruce up our teacher's lounge oh, and also yeah. maybe get something for the class of 2023. All right. A lot of good things on the board here. Picture day is next. <laughs> grab your buzzers. We will show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I will give you three clues one at a time. With each clue, we will remove three boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify that picture will win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. Ha-ha! That's what it sounds like, you guys. Three pictures today, guys. Here is your first clue. Good luck. His birth name is Rakeem My Mayers. What in the world is that? Clue two. Some of his best known songs include Praise the Lord, Fashion Killer, and Every Day. First one in, Leah. Kanye West. Is that Kanye West? <laughs> Incorrect. Teacher for the steal. Otherwise, we'll give you another clue. Didn't think so. Oh. Okay. <laughs> clue three. Here you go. In May of 2022, he welcomed a baby boy with Rihanna. Leah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. She forgot she had to answer. Okay. Next teacher, do you want to take a free guess? Um, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Buzz in if you want to take a guess. Kendrick Lamar. Still incorrect. Oh. ASAP Rocky was who we were looking for. Let's clear the board. I can't. But can I wear that out? I don't think I can wear that. All right, picture two, you guys. Good luck, everybody. Mont Blanc is found here. France? Mr. McCann. France? Is that France? Incorrect. Free steal if you want it. Nobody? Okay. Clue number two. Hannibal once rode elephants across them. Hmm. No buzz. We move to clue number three. Take them down, please. They are the highest and most extensive mountain range system in South Central Europe. Principal Van. Is the Alps? Is that the Alps? It sure is the Alps. There you go. Nicely done. Get you to that one. Get you up to 110. Here we go. Picture number three. Good luck. Students, you want this one. This person is a fan of professional wrestling. No one there? Could have said Richard Curtis. He starred in Hubie Halloween and the Grown Ups movie. RJ. Adam Sandler. Is that Adam Sandler? Yeah, it's Adam Sandler. I love Hubie Halloween. That's like my new favorite Halloween movie. Hey, students, 30, teachers, 110, final exam now. Ooh. All right, guys, here it is. It's a fighting chance, as in what I'm giving the students right now. This means all the questions have something to do with battles or feuds. Three questions. Here's the first one. During the Battle of Baltimore, the sight of a flying U.S. flag inspired Francis Scott Key to write the Defense of Fort McHenry that eventually became known as a song named what? Question two. The TikTok content house Sway House was involved in several, several feuds with what other content house that initially consisted of creators including Chase Hudson, Charlie D'Amelio, and Addison Rae? And finally, in Greek mythology, what is the name of the god of war? Those are your questions. 60 seconds goes on the clock. Stay right there because the students are trying for a fighting chance to grab this thing. When we come back, we find out if they can do it. You're watching The Classroom. Come on back. for the students right now. They need a giant comeback to get back in this thing, but 
hey, listen, they've been cramming for this test all year long. Students and teachers today are from Dennis Township Middle School in Cape May County, and here we go. Let's jump into this thing. During the Battle of Baltimore, the sight of a flying U.S. flag inspired Francis Scott Key to write the defense of Fort McHenry that eventually became known as a song named what? And we start with our students, RJ. You said what? Star Single Banner. That is correct. Gets you up to 130. Teachers, what did you guys say? <laughs> we wanted to help them out. The national anthem, also known um, as. <laughs> our producers were all over that one. That was fast. We were looking for the name of the song specifically there, so you guys did not get the point, and that dramatically changes this game and puts our students in the driver's seats. And we move to this question. The TikTok content house, Sway House, was involved in several feuds with what other content house that initially consisted of creators, including Chase Hudson, Charlie D, Amelie, Emilio, and Addison Ray. Teachers, this was a huge feud, but you gotta be with that pop culture. What did you say here? Oh, us? Oh, we said fun house. <laughs> a house I wanna be a part of, but incorrect. Students, if you get this correct, the game is over. You said what? Uh, Hype House? Hype House is right! And get hyped, students, because you're walking away with 500! Let's go! Hey, in Greek mythology, that God of War was named Ares, and what a battle we had here today. These students are walking away with 500 bucks, you guys. Thanks for being here in the classroom. We'll see you next time!